Alrighty guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to take a quick call. Um, it's funny because I feel like I always get calls during my live streams, but it's okay. We're back. You're not going to want to miss this part because I think this is going to be, this is going to like seal the deal for this animation. Super excited about this. Um, let me go ahead and do this. Let me select every other one of these cubes and then I'm going to copy the materials over. So now you see how we have this nice checkerboard pattern. I'm wondering, I did it. Guys, we happen to have the perfect amount of cubes. I am so hype. You know why I'm so hype? Because do you see how the top cube, that the one that's going to get replaced, and the bottom left one are exactly the same color? I mean, does anybody know where I'm going with this? Does anybody know where I'm going with this? I think I did it. Although, although, um, shit, maybe I didn't do it. Hold on, let me think. I might not have done it. Let's just, let's just, we can play this and see how it looks. But I think actually now that I'm thinking about it again, since I overthink everything, I actually think I might have not done it because when everything drops down, now this is going to be shifted. Shit. Okay. <laughs> so I sort of did it, but I think I need to have it happen twice. Like it needs to cycle through twice. Bro, love from India. Thank you, man. Um, sorry I had to go there for a second, guys. Love, love, love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So if we play this back right now, it won't be a full loop, I'm pretty sure. Um, even if we went through and did, did this other side as well. One, two, three. What? I missed one. And then this would be opposite, right? One, two. Four, five. Did I do this right, guys? Am I tripping? I think I thought I did do this right. Well, the only thing, so this will replace that one, so it will work. But this one won't be the same. All right, let's just play. Let me just play it back because I'm I am thinking way too hard about this, guys. Let's play it back in in um in this preview. Hold on. So it gets shifted over, everything drops back down. The only thing is, when these two get shifted over, now we have purple under purple. But, but, wait, 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 wait. If we shift, see how now I'm like overthinking this, guys? Because I knew this was gonna be a challenge. See how everything lined up though? That was actually kind of cool. I kind of like that. Now everything's lined up. No. I thought I had it figured out. We're going to have to mess around more with this. This might have to be a two-part YouTube tutorial of me losing my mind trying to make this loop properly. Yeah, hell no. Oh, hello. <laughs> so it's still a full loop, but not really because everything lines up. Shit. Wait a second. Hold on. If this piece gets pushed out, what if, what if, no, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I think I got it, guys. You ready? This is gonna be crazy, and I am probably way, way in over my head for thinking this is even possible. What if we, um, what if we also punched out the bottom two pieces? We could make this really crazy really quick. And this could this could turn into like a six hour tutorial trying to make this thing work. <laughs> Someone's like, yeah, six hour tutorial. You guys are freaking out over here trying to make, like watching me try and make this happen. Are you guys like, is this dude crazy? I think I might be. I think I might be, but like, at least I'm being genuine about me trying to figure this out because Clearly this isn't gonna work with the checkerboard pattern because when this piece get when this piece slides out, it gets it gets replaced with the same piece, but now that bottom left, well, since everything else falls down, it kinda like messes it up. Damn, how am I gonna figure that out? Does anybody have any crazy wild suggestions as to how to figure that out? Because I am lost for a second here. Oh my gosh, craziness though. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. 
wait a second. Guys, I got it. I got it. Hold on. If I shift every single layer 90 degrees, after, after it, sh okay, so after everything shifts, if I then, like, oh my God, I, I'm, I, I have it in my head. Okay, so imagine this, guys. Imagine, oh, you guys can't see me, can you? Um, here, I'll blow my face up real quick so you guys can see. So imagine that we have this, like this is our stack, but it's only two pieces. And then we shift every single layer like that, right? If we shift every layer like that, or sorry, every other layer like that, technically it will reset, but, oh, my brain hurts, but I need to only do every other layer and I need to make sure I parent it to an empty, but the stack is already parented to the empty. So yeah. Can you have disco oscillating like a disco light? Wait, what? Can you have color oscillating like a disco light? Yeah, I can actually. So, and I thought about that as the solution to this animation. I could actually animate the colors back into place, but you know what? I wanna challenge myself here. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna challenge the shit out of myself by shifting around all of these layers. Um, and I'm just now realizing that that might not even work. It would have to happen right here. Like right at this very instant, every single layer would need to shift like that. But if I did that, I would need to unparent that entire stack from the empty. Do you guys, are you guys following this? Or are you guys just like, what the hell is going on right now? Because I can barely follow what I'm saying. That shifts. The, mm, my brain hurts, guys. My brain is killing me right now. I'm like, my brain is like, dude, you are thinking way too hard about this. But I, I, I want to because I want to figure this out. I want to make this thing look freaking amazing. I want to, I want to be like proud of this when it's done. This piece comes back to the top, drops down. Wait, what just happened there? Oh, the, the shift, the focus shift. Oh, guys, can't have the focus following the cube because then it breaks the loop. I'm sorry, we can't do it. We can't do it. That's fine. All right. I'm like, I'm sitting here looking zoomed in. I'm like, why is the, why the last two frames should be almost exactly the same. All right, guys, we're going to have to do this the crazy way. All right. We're going to have to do this the crazy way. And by the time we're done, I will have gone insane. And if I didn't, we're gonna have to shift, shift those two. All right, it starts like this, every other. And then at this point, we would have to shift everything around. That, we want that. Okay, I think I have it figured out. You know what we could do instead of shifting everything around? Sorry, make another loop make another loop for another color. Yeah, I could do that. Or we could take these pieces, move them outside of their um, their stack and have them shuffle back in the proper way. Technically, this whole row is the only thing that needs to be arranged, if that makes sense. So once this piece comes back, All right, I know what to do. This is gonna be crazy and we're just gonna try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I think I know what I wanna do. So as soon as this goes down, all right, we'll start everything at 50 before this piece gets fully moved back up front. So I'm gonna rearrange this entire stack to be properly arranged. Okay, did that, did that even make sense? All right, we're gonna insert location and rotation. And we're gonna have this thing move out over five frames to the left, G, Y, insert location, rotation. And then we're gonna move it up 
to where it needs to go, which is going to be right here. So GZ, insert location rotation. So now this piece is gonna come out and it's gonna replace the other piece. This is gonna, this is getting really, really crazy. Hey, I am, I am Sahil, you are a crazy blender artist. I'm definitely crazy. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm going crazy right now trying to make this work. Um, and guys, we also need to have this piece. Hold on. We need, this can't be here either. This needs to replace that piece. All right. This is about to get wild, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Insert location rotation, go to 65, G, Y, insert location rotation, and then by frame 80, we'll bring this piece all the way up to right here. Insert location rotation. We need to be careful because we're cutting it mad close here. So we need to bring this over, G, X, insert location rotation. 90 now we can adjust these keyframes of course and then 95 we'll bring it all the way over g y oh sorry that was the wrong area wasn't it hold on stays here this piece should have popped out by now so we want to bring this piece over on the x-axis insert location rotation this piece we want to stop it here Frame 90, we want to bring it over on Y. Insert location and rotation. This piece, oh God, hold on. This, this is getting crazy. <laughs> hey, love your working style, thank you. Uh, my working style is I have zero plan when I go into this and never once have I ever had a plan. All right, now I go to 80, I'm gonna bring this down on the z-axis to right here, insert location rotation, 85, bring it over here, insert location rotation, 90, bring it over on the x-axis because it needs to be right here, insert location rotation, 95, bring it down, insert location rotation, 100, move it over, Insert location rotation. So this piece is going back to where it needs to go. Perfect. And then my brain hurts. Hold on. This piece is perfect because this is exactly where we want that. Now this whole stack needs to shift down one. So let's go ahead and do that. From 70, let's see. Oh, this piece never moves, hold on. No, it does. How about from frame? All right, at frame 55, this one's gonna start falling down because this piece is already coming out. So we'll make it fall down for 10 frames or so, GZ. Insert, location, rotation. And we're gonna do the same for these two as well. 55. Actually, we're gonna click on all these, insert location rotation, insert location rotation, insert location rotation. <sighs> and then we're gonna go to frame 65, move it down, insert location rotation, move it down, insert location rotation, move it down, insert location rotation, move it down, insert location rotation. And then we need this one, this one, where's this one going? Oh, this one needs to shuffle back into here. Uh, G, Y, insert location rotation. All right, did I do this right? Let's see. Oh my God, guys, I think I actually freaking did it. Let me play it back. Ha! <laughs> I did it, but I need to adjust some, some stuff right here. All 
All right, this is crazy, and I don't know how I figured it out, but I did. So let's go ahead and play it back and see what this looks like. People are going to be watching this YouTube video, and they're going to be like, I am unsubscribing. This guy's fucking nuts. Full loop. Where's my money? It's a full loop, guys. Now, now we can adjust all of the parameters for however we want. Now, something else that I want to do is adjust the timing. Like, for example, when this moves up from frame 60 to, or was it 65 to 80, I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to right click interpolation mode back. So now if we watch this from the side, when this piece moves up, see how it kind of like moves up, but it like goes back. She really, really liked that a lot. So I'm going to right click interpolation mode back. Can't have that there though. That needs to be Bezier. Freaking awesome. Um, I'm hype right now. So cool. These loops are satisfying. Yeah, this one's going to be a good one. And I'm going to keep adjusting everything as I go. But wow. So that one, it's a little fast at the end there. So here's what I think I'm going to do. So that gets pushed over immediately right here on frame 30. I'm going to select all of these one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I'm going to start these over at frame at right here and I'm going to scale them up a little bit so that they last a little bit longer. Yeah, so that they're not as. Perfect. So what I did is I took all the keyframes and I scaled them up so that they're not as fast. But everything still moves the same exact way. Still a little fast on some of those. This one's way too fast moving from. Wait a second, something weird is happening down here. This is why I always watch my animations over and over again. How is this getting pushed out like that? There we go. Perfect. Wait, no. It's cutting through, so we need to have it happen here. Oof, that is a tight window right there. That's fine. I'm 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 fine with that. We'll let that one slide. Settings in Renja, uh, have you changed your color management settings in render properties? Yes, I have. It's filmic and it's, uh, I think medium contrast. I'll double check it after this. Um, and we can do post, we can do compositing too. Let me just see something. All right, this one's moving way too quick from frame 65 to 80. So we're going to have this one pop out at 40. All right, let's watch everything back again. It's a little quick. I kind of want to leave some room at the end too. And actually guys, I'm going to show you a little trick. If you, if you press A and you look at all the keyframes, we can actually select all keyframes and scale them up a little bit. So now I want to watch this back again. I think that looks good. See, like I think that timing is pretty good. What do you guys think? This piece, I'm getting mixed up with what I did. To be honest, it's hard to keep track sometimes. Cool.
I think that looks great. Wait. I don't know. I, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm overthinking it. All right, I'm stopping the YouTube recording. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will post the final render um, as part of this YouTube tutorial or on Instagram, whichever one I remember to do. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching the process, and I'm sorry that it took so long, but that's how long these things take when you go and you try to create a satisfying animation. That's just kind of what you get with the process. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something because there is actually a lot of valuable content in here. Excuse me. Thank you so much. Um, don't go too insane trying to create your satisfying animations, but I do hope you learned something. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.